As you can no doubt tell, I've left my normal setup, ventured out into the great outdoors, God's country. I've left my domain expansion, and I've been kidnapped by Austin Powers here. But my little adventure has the added benefit of serving a second purpose, which is being witness protection, so Mike Tyson doesn't track me down and, you know, wiggle his way down my chimney and beat my ass in the middle of the night, because I'm about to sling a few insults here at this absolutely awful event that he's agreed to. I've said since day one, the genesis, that the Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson fight is a pathetic embarrassment of an event. Just from a conceptual standpoint, it is so dog shit. And somehow it just keeps finding a way to get even worse. It's an absolute circus show. So Mike Tyson recently just had a medical emergency on a flight. He had an ulcer flare up and it's postponed the event even further. I'll dive into that a bit more, but I just want to start like it's not even just the more recent stuff that's happening with the embarrassing press conference where Mike Tyson made the baffling statement about how when Jake Paul was 16 and dancing, it gave him a boner. I don't that's a level of trash talk I've never seen before right there. I don't know what the plan was, but it fell flat on its face like I tried to figure out what the play might have been there, the strategy on stream. The only thing I could come up with was that he was trying to, like, belittle him as a fighter. It's like, oh, this guy, he's not a fighter. No, I don't even want to fight this guy. I just want to fuck him. Yeah, you know, like, he, like, dances around and stuff. And, like, I didn't want to get over there and fucking squeeze on his little cheeks and twist on his nipples. Like, maybe make him uncomfortable with statements like that. I don't know. But it was a shocking display at the press conference. Like... Everything about that was awful. Like, it, they weren't taking it seriously. How could anyone take the fight seriously? I've speculated from the beginning that there's probably a no-knockout clause. On paper, Jake Paul should have no chance against Mike Tyson, but he's 60 years old and he is turning to dust, as every human being will as they get later on in life. Like, it's just, it's the way of the world. Mike Tyson is one of the best to ever fight. By all definitions, he is a certified legend at the top of the food chain but he's pushing 60 years old. He's not in his prime anymore. And real life isn't like anime. Very rarely will you have like the ancient geriatric master with like a graying beard be able to stand toe to toe with the youth. You know, he's not Master Roshi, right? It's just, it's not how that works. Seems like a mod from GTA or something where you just spawn in two characters and have them fight because it's silly. But to have it happen in real life is just kind of sad. This is a lose-lose situation for Jake Paul, by the way. Jake Paul has a reputation for only fighting retired ex-fighters, not even boxers most of the time. He's fought one boxer and lost, and now he's once again just going back to just fighting an old guy who has retired. So if he wins this fight, no one's going to give him respect because he beat a nearly 60-year-old Mike Tyson, once again continuing Jake Paul's reign as, like, the fucking tyrannical boogeyman of the retirement homes. And if he loses to Mike Tyson, he's going to get clowned on endlessly for losing to a nearly 60-year-old man. It's fucking stupid. It's just the most blatant cash grab off of two names because Jake Paul still has somewhat of an audience, and Mike Tyson is still one of the biggest names in sports history, so he's obviously going to bring in a big crowd that just likes to watch him fight or do anything, really. But beyond that, this isn't a you paid for the whole seat, but you only need the edge type of situation, you know? You're not going to be biting at your nails, jumping out of the chair at every thrown jab or anything, because it's just kind of like a pathetic little whimper of a cash grab, really. Like... Mike Tyson has fought legends. Jake Paul fights to get out of his brother's shadow. They're not the same. This isn't a real match, no matter how hard they try and market it as such. Like, the press conference really set the tone of the whole thing where they're both laughing back and forth. This isn't a real thing. They're just both getting paid a bag to do it. And that's it. Anyway, I'll talk about the most recent blemish on this event. Mike Tyson had a medical emergency while on a flight. It was identified as an ulcer flare-up, and he's been advised to avoid heavy training for uh, a few weeks. So, in response to this, the event has been postponed to later on in the year. People who had previously purchased tickets are still going to be able to have those tickets honored for the new date and all of that. 
Or if you can't make it, you get a refund. I don't even know why I'm bothering to cover that component of it. I don't fucking work for Seat Geek, but I figured I'll just give you the entire kit and caboodle here of the situation. So it's been postponed because of Mike Tyson's ulcer flare-up. And if Jake Paul had any level of shame, he would just call off the fight in response to that. Just be like, hey, Mike Tyson, you got nothing to prove. But unfortunately, he's a pathetic little worm who would never do that because to him, he does have something to prove. That he's a real fighter. And to prove that, he fights retired boxers and sometimes not even boxers. If your grandfather's in a nursing home, you might want to give him a wellness check because Jake Paul might have come in into the middle of the night and given him a contract to take Mike Tyson's place in the fight. Doesn't matter if your grandfather's a retired plumber. That man's going to get his shit pushed in by Jake Paul and he's going to be talking about it for months about how he's like the ultimate fighter. But he refuses to fight actual people his own age or in the actual sports that he is competing in. And the one time he did, he lost. So he's gone right back to just attacking the elderly. It doesn't matter what happens in this fight. There's not a single soul on this planet that's going to look at Mike Tyson differently. If he loses the fight, no one's going to think that it ruins his legacy or anything. He's almost 60 fucking years old. Like, most people are kind of expecting that, but praying that he just, you know, goes in there, goes ballistic, and just beats Jake Paul to a pulp. Like, obliterates him into, like, an unrecognizable fucking mess of flesh. That's most people's hopes, but if it doesn't happen, it's not going to affect Mike Tyson's legacy. For Jake Paul, though, everyone is going to look at him differently, no matter what happens with the fight. If the fight happens, which it seems like it will under, under no circumstances does it seem to be getting canceled, when this fight happens, everyone's going to look at Jake Paul even more pathetically. People will feel more disgust towards him than a urine stain in a gas station toilet. Because if he wins, he beat up an old Mike Tyson. If he loses... He lost to an old Mike Tyson. There is no winning in this scenario. The only winning move was not to play. But he can't fucking help himself. So anyway, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul both did issue statements in response to the ulcer flare-up, which I'll go ahead and go over here. Mike Tyson said, I want to thank my fans around the world for their support and understanding during this time. Unfortunately, due to my ulcer flare-up, I have been advised by my doctor to lighten my training for a few weeks to rest and recover. My body is in better overall shape than it has been since the 1990s, and I will be back to my full training schedule soon. Now, Mike Tyson is in phenomenal shape, for sure. But there's a lot more that goes into fighting than just the shape that you're in in the physique. And that's where old age really starts to take a huge toll. Jake Paul, this may have, brought, this may have bought you some time, but in the end, you will still be knocked out and out of boxing for good. I appreciate everyone's patience and can't wait to deliver an unforgettable performance later this year. We can only pray that that's how this all unfolds. Everyone's got their fingers crossed that that's exactly what happens. Jake Paul also issued a statement, I fully support postponing the event so Mike Tyson has no excuses come fight night. My fans know I don't want to face Iron Mike at anything but his best, which is why I'm fighting him at almost 60 years old. <laughs> when, when males really peak, 60 years old is when a man hits his power spike. That's when he's at his best. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yep, that's how that goes. But let there be no mistake. When he steps into the ring with me, I will be ready to claim my W with a sensational finish. Paul vs. Tyson will be one for the ages, and I promise to bring my best for this once-in-a-lifetime matchup. Jake Paul is correct about one thing in his statement, that Paul vs. Tyson will be one for the ages. It'll be looked upon for years to come as one of the worst examples of boxing ever displayed. A grim reminder of just how bad and corrupt it can get and how greedy it can become. This shit is embarrassing and I think it will always be looked upon as a spittoon for people to spit in to remind us that, yikes, that was a, that was a shameful period in boxing history. It's really just awful. And I just wanted to talk about it a little bit in a video because of the most recent medical emergency for Mike Tyson. So anyway, that's really about it. I don't think I'll be watching it. I never really do. I just catch the Twitter clip highlights to figure out who won because it's a waste of time watching a Jake Paul fight. I'd honestly rather be listening to like a fucking five-hour lecture on the Krebs cycle from my old university professor. That shit is just boring from him. So that's really it. See ya.